Okay, I'm about to show you guys some footage from the creek earlier. Uh, myself, Brandy, and the girls went down there. Hadley found something awesome. Just wait until you see it. And then also, we got a picture of a big black hog on camera. Stay tuned for that too. Um, then we're gonna go to the creek and then when we come back, I'm gonna show you this awesome new trap I got for the homestead. So Hadley found something amazing in the creek. What'd you find? I found it. What's up, bad? Let's see if we can catch some minnows down here. We are back at the creek. It's 88 degrees today. Summer is pretty much here. We usually have about one or two weeks of spring here in Oklahoma, and then boom, it hits summertime. But we're gonna come back down here and check the traps again for you guys. Um, they've been set for three or four days now. I think we're gonna get some crawdads. And we brought a net. I hope Hallie's gonna try to catch some minnows. You gonna try to catch some minnows with that? The, all the minnows are over there. I'll put this in the water and watch you try to scoop some up. Leave us some stuff in here. Okay. It's cold. Takes some getting used to, don't it? You go, yeah. There's none today. We'll have to wait till it gets hot out. Yeah. Hey, Hadley, so go around this way. I'm gonna put the camera in over here and then come up over the tree and try to scoop some up. Look at all her sensors. You might be able to just like put it down and they'll go into it. Did she get any? Nothing? Yeah, you gotta come whichever way the net is hanging, that's the way you. No. Nothing. Uh, let's check traps and we'll come back to this. Oh, but you remember all the traps are at? Because I can't remember. Yeah. Grab your, your crawdad catcher. Hold it. Can you put this in your pocket? Put it on your head. Okay. Wasn't there one over here, Hope? Where? Did you have one over here somewhere? No. Is that literally a trap? Yeah. Hold that. Yep. Where? Yep. Where? Right oh, there. Where? Yeah. Yep, let's see what we got in there. Bunch of fish. What kind? Those are bunch. Are they? A minnows. Here, Hope. No, they're uh, big. They're kind of big. Hey, Hope, we could put those in our pond. Should we put them in that thing? Yeah, let's see, Hope. Get put some the water, water in. Hey, Hope, you stop for a second. Stop. Yeah, There's a lot. Okay, Hadley, you put some water There's in. There's a dead crowded. What? Oh, Where? Big. Get it, Brandy. We'll get it with this. There's fish. Oh, it's a big one, too. We had a dead crowded by it, but no live ones. Is there hey, any credit? Let's put the fish Not a whole lot, Hadley. We're going to put the fish in this one. Hurry, put the water in until the fish don't Hey, melt. unzip this. You, if you unzip it, you can just reach right in there. Let's see. Oh, Whoa, there's a big sucker that's fish sucker again. Fish. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's too much water. You're going to have to There's more sucker it. fish that's in there. Yeah, Hud. That's creepy. Put it looking. in there. Is there any more? Um, zip it back up and throw it back in there. Slimy. All right, so we got about six uh, fish in there. A couple of them look like little bass but i don't know that crawdad that they were eating on that's a good sign there's bigger that's a bigger crawdad too but something keeps taking this trap out of the water right here there's little butterflies in there yeah is it a crawdad look at all the butterflies in there dead fish there is oh there's a dead fish there's a crawdad is it alive that's a crawdad oh it's a big one too oh there's two hope it's alive Something pulled it out. Ah, uh, we oh, caught big sticks. crawdads, but something pulled it out and that they died. Ah, uh, they have to live in water. Well, they can't dry out here. Hold it. Um, Is there two of them in there? Are you serious? That's sad. Oh, there's another good one. What pulled it out? Are you serious? Ah, uh, put it in there. We'll leave this one here for now. I, hey, just put it over there in the water. The something will eat it. That's just ridiculous. Is there two dead ones? Might go move the camera down here. To see what the heck is getting these traps what was crazy is the otter that got our trap a couple of years ago like ripped a hole in the side and got all the crawdads this one is just they're just pulling it out but they're not like ripping it up or not so i don't know what it is we have four traps 
Hope, are we gonna get any karate at this time? Yeah. Because it was just me and you that reset them, wasn't it? That's because those dead ones. A couple, but. A couple of good size, decent ones. Probably. So, we're checking traps right now, and the girls are gonna swim for a little bit. Then they got parties, I think, to go to, but I'm gonna stay down here and work a little bit because we're gonna have that man, father, son uh, camping survival thing in the next five or six weeks. So I'm gonna start working down here, get stuff cleaned up. Brandy, were the girls upset that I said boys only? I don't know if they heard. Oh. I think, actually, I think you guys got other things going on that day, but maybe, maybe Hope could. Oh, yeah, Hope could probably come with me. So we could potentially drive all the way to this spot, Brandy, if I could get that cleaned up right there. Walk across there and check. There's two over there. Okay. I will get the other one. Ooh, it's cold. Ooh, it's slick, too. This thing went to water, right? I'm gonna go check the trap real quick with Hadley. Oh, what is that? Baby that? Oh, that's a big piece of meat. Okay. Hadley, undo that trap and bring that trap over here, Hadley. Where? Where's Nasty looking hot dog with no untie it and we're gonna move them. Man, this is hor <laughs> This is horrible luck with crawdads. Not two, but they're dead. The two that we there was nothing in that one, guys. No, there was a tiny crawdad. There was a tiny one no, in there. I think it went inside that meat. Let me see. Bring here, Hadley. Oh, Let me see. It That's what we need. I think we need to put these down there. Where? Hey, I think someone needs to swim across right here. Okay. No, thank you. Okay, there's a bunch of fish in there. Hey, you want to put them in? Yeah. Let's put, it's got to sit just like this so the crawdads can get in there. I think that's what happened. The, the swift water, it knocked them up, straight up and down. So put it under, underneath the, kind of up underneath the roots right there. And then tie that string over to something. Huh. Okay. We'll put it up underneath that root ball. But it's got to you see how it's got to set up so the crawdads can yeah. come. In. So we're trying different spots now. I don't know if the weather needs to be warmer because it has been cool for the last week and a half that we've been trying to trap them. Maybe it will get in the 90s and hundreds. It'll be more active, I don't know. That's not arrowhead, Hayden. Hayden thought she found an arrowhead. That's a good little ledge. Let's go down here, girls, at the corner. I see a bunch of fish. So there's a ton, ton of fish. Hope, or Hallie, I think right in here. Right in here by these leaves. Yeah, that's a good spot. It's nice and calm up here. The current's not real strong. Just toss it in there and then tie it to this stick. It's a swimming hole. Can you tie it to the stick? Yeah, a bunch of them. I see them. Dive in. Spring Fred Fed Creek. Yeah, I'm waiting on you. It's cold, isn't it? Are you blind? There's a big fire here.
Oh, Did you see all of them? Yeah. Well, they're pretty smart. They swam in right there and swam out too. Now oh, they found Arrowhead. That is an arrowhead. Hadley. Hadley. Where'd you find that at? That's a legit she arrowhead. Did you, you get that out of a gift shop, Hadley? Oh my gosh, Hadley. See, that's where I found that other one at. Was it in the, in the dirt or just in the rock? Oh my God. That's awesome. Hadley found her first arrowhead. Hayes been searching and searching. Good job, Hadley. Hope, you see that? I thought she was just. I thought she got it at a gift shop. Here, Hope, go show them where you. I think there's a camp over there because that's where I found mine. Heather, show us where you find the arrowhead, okay? Where was it at? It was like okay. somewhere over here. Like, Dad, where do you find yours at, Dad? Heather said it was right here. Like, somewhere over here. Like, somewhere over here. Every single time we go camping, Heather always says that she finds an arrowhead or something, but there's never an arrowhead, but she actually found a real one this time. Alright, I'm going to lift this rock up. Hope, let's see if there's any crawdads. Hey, Hope, come over here. That one's too big, I can't even budge that one. Huh? Some of them are like stuck in the ground. I don't think I can. No, it's real big. So Hallie found something amazing in the creek. What'd you find? I found an arrowhead. I've only ever found two. You found one already. That's a good one too, Hadley. Yeah. Were you actually looking for it or did you just look down and there it was? I was just looking for it. You were looking for arrowheads? Yeah. I looked down and there it was whenever I found mine. Good <laughs> job. Saw it. That's crazy. I wonder how old it is. Yeah. So that means a Native American was down here at the creek, probably on a day like this, not sitting in a nice little chair like mom's got and just whittling away at that because they wanted to go hunting to get, get some food for their family or for themselves. You know it? No, that's too big for a squirrel one. But that's what they were doing. This was all intended so they can go hunting to kill something and yeah. eat it with this. There's no telling, Hayden. They make them, they have a camp down here because this is the second one we found down here. Maybe so, I don't know. But. There's probably hundreds of these down here. We just got to find them. Yeah. They're free. I'll do you gonna let them all go? Yeah. There's a pepper fish. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See other. Okay, so there's actually like 23 pictures on here, so probably about 20 that are for animals or something else. Um, so I'll show you guys what's on camera right now while I'm setting it up over here on this trap. Because that's the second time something has taken our trap out of the water. Yeah, I just put the net where the the bait's at. Put it right here in the water, so it's right in front of that camera, right here. Yeah, perfect. So the holes have got water in there, but something keeps taking this out. So we're gonna find out what it is. We put the camera up. We'll see what it is. You are. Okay. Hopefully. So it doesn't take it. I hope so. I mean, I hope. My options are limited.
Okay, good job. Okay, so you guys seen us down at the creek earlier. Hallie found an awesome arrowhead. We have a picture of a big hog. That's our first official picture, I think. Um, we've seen him in person several times. Now we got a picture of the big one to show you guys. Pretty crazy. But um, I am in contact with a friend that has a big hog trap. We're going to set out. We were going to try to set it out yesterday. It just didn't come to be. Um, but right now, let me show you the trap I got for the house. Um, try to catch the um, coyotes that are out here. Maybe a bobcat. I don't know. Just a predator. We're trying to catch a predator that got our chickens and all that. So let me show you this. Let me get this out of there first. We got stuff in the truck. This big trap I just purchased yesterday, this thing, I think hopefully will be the answer to our predator problem. We'll see. Let me get it out. Look at this thing. Bobby, I'm not trying to catch you in this trap, boy. But I've been looking to buy one of these online, and they're all out of stock. And I seen one in the store, and it was the only one I've seen they had, and I grabbed it. But check this out. This is a live trap, a live live trap. So I'll put uh, probably one of the younger hens in here, or one of the younger chickens that we uh, hatched out a few months ago. We'll put it in here with some water and feed. Stick it down in here like that. Close this up, get this all set up. And then hopefully the bobcat or the coyote or whatever else is killing our animals will go in there and we'll catch it. But this is a good one. I'll show you how to do it. I have been looking for one of these. It's crazy. I just happened to find it yesterday. So is this something? It's actually not too cheap either. It was 150 bucks, but it'll be worth it. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And then go in there. It's just a foot uh, trigger. They step on it. Boom. Catch up. Perfect. And this is simple. We can just come in here, get it out, feed it, water it. Bobby, I would use you for bait, but I don't think I can fit you in this little box. I don't think we can do I don't think we can do it. That chicken I put in there is probably going to be a nervous wreck, but I think it's worth it to save its life and the other one's lives. Right now, we are locking them up. Unless we're home, then we're out here messing around, then we can let them free range and gather them up, put them in there. Uh, that's the conclusion we came with. We came up with is we we'll just have to keep them locked up more. That's all there is to it until we can either get them a big run which I don't want that, but that might ha may have to happen. Live out in the middle of the woods, obviously. There's predators. I think we've just been extremely lucky over the last couple of years um, with the low loss of life when it comes to the animals. And now to think of it, maybe the bobcat is the one who got Barbie, um, the new peahen. So Bobby seems like he knows what's up. He roosts high. He hangs out on top of things all day long. He'll get up on top of the ranger. Hopefully he doesn't get up on the truck. Uh, we wouldn't want that. Um, but he'll get up on the sawmill, all that. Um, so yeah, he, he kind of knows what's going on. But I'm hope, hopefully this will fix our problem. Hopefully we'll catch some stuff. I've actually seen people use these in the past with great success with them. Will I have great success? You guys know how it is. Probably not. But we're definitely going to try it out. Um, I've watched some videos on people, how they get them up in a brush pile. Um, you got to cover all the sides and you got to make it look like uh, a tunnel they're going in um, to get the chicken or whatever you put in there. Um, and people catch them. I've seen people have success with these and I'm hoping we do too. And these are better than the steel traps, obviously. So you don't catch your neighbor's dog or whatever in there or your dog. Um, but hopefully we can trick them enough to get in there and catch us one. Bobby's forging for, for food right now. Yeah, so. Tell me if you guys would like to see me and the girls set this big trap up. It's like 58 inches long and 26 inches wide, something like that. It's a big one. It is a big one. Actually, the girls could probably get up in there and lock themselves in there. So better tell them to stay out of it. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video at the creek. Tell Hadley, great job on finding the arrowhead. We're always looking for them. They're just so hard to find. I think there's, there's an old Indian camp down there on that property because there's Indian... Um, federal Indian land all around us. I think there was one of their old campsites. Uh, give me some comments down below what you guys think. Old campsite? I think so. There's a bunch of them down there. We just got to find them. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Love to have you guys here. Catch you on next video. Thanks for watching.